Our next guest is the Chief Executive Officer of Jewish Family Service, Mr. Michael Hopkins. Welcome, Michael. Thank you for joining us here today. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Great to have you. Michael, we want to dig deep right away into the issues that are impacting our seniors. And I know Jewish Family Service, JFS San Diego, is deeply involved in a vast array of resources and projects here in San Diego. Aging with dignity is what we want to focus on. So tell us about some of the services and opportunities for seniors to age with dignity through Jewish Family Service. Yeah, thank you. So first I want to just, um, aging with dignity for us really means um, aging at home or aging in your community. And so all of our services are really geared towards helping individuals um, live and stay in their home as long as possible. Um, and really with kind of like a, a sense of um, a, p a positive you know, attitude towards life and health. And um, we understand that social iso isolation, um, almost like 50% of seniors um, recently in San Diego County identified social iso isolation as an issue for them. And so mm -hmm. anything that we can do to, to help folks um, stay at home, so that could mean transportation, it could mean uh, making small home repairs, it could mean um, helping uh, individuals or family members with, um, with kind of just some management and some negotiating systems. And um, we all know like going to the doctor and figuring out forms and you know, when one doctor says one thing and the other doctor says something else, and um, those are difficult issues for families to, to, to wrestle with. Or the issue of just, you know, is staying at home uh, the, makes, makes the most sense, does it make the most sense? Well, let's tackle one at a time. We know transportation is probably the number one issue, and you have On The Go. So transportation is the number one issue, and we have a, a, a rather large program called On The Go. It's actually the largest volunteer-based transportation program here in San Diego County. We're, we're not everywhere in the county, although we're uh, almost everywhere in the county. Um, it is mostly volunteer based. Um, and what makes this program really unique is that there's a guaranteed ride. So you just don't have to worry that, you know, like at 10 o'clock in the morning, um, whether you're, you plan to go to Trader Joe's or whether you plan to go to the doctor for chemotherapy or dialysis, um, that if the volunteer cancels, like it doesn't matter. There's gonna be a ride one way or the other. Uh, will provide a ride so you can be assured that wherever you want to go, you'll get to. So there's really no reason for any senior not to have the ability to get somewhere in San Diego. Based right, our, pretty much. Our program operates seven days a week. It doesn't offer, you know, it doesn't, you know, like in the middle of the night, we're not going to transport you anywhere and we don't take you to the, to the airport. Oh. Um, you know, there are lots, lots of other companies that do that, but um, really wherever you want to go, um, we'll, we'll get you there using volunteers or using our own drivers. So if somebody wanted to volunteer to support JFS, Jewish Family Services, is Right, that really important. And so the, the program strength is based upon um, almost 1,000 volunteers who, who wow. provide the transportation. And so um, you can imagine the number of riders is greater than the number of drivers, and we're always in the need for volunteers. Um, and I know firsthand that the folks who volunteer um, really feel, they develop a relationship. They often, uh, you can go online, you can see what, um, what seniors need rides. Uh, you can you know, volunteer as much or as little as you want. And, uh, and very often our volunteers pick the same uh, passenger over and over again and really develop important, significant relationships with them. And socialization but is, I think, Patty and I have experienced it with our clients, is the number one thing that we're mm -hmm. looking to support quality of life issues for seniors aging in place at home. So on the go is a tremendous service that JFS is providing. I want to turn a little bit to something that's really unknown out there is what they call geriatric care management. JFS is providing that. Tell us a little bit about that, or tell us about that. So geriatric care management is really the, the services that we provide to either the individual or to family members to help them navigate the systems that, that are out there. And so um, it's everything from sometimes um, as an individual, uh, you have nobody to go. Um, so we'll, we'll, so we'll, we'll, that person will help take you to the doctor, and um, we'll even sit in there uh, during your exam or after, or however you would want it, um, and help uh, explain what the doctor just said. And very often, you know, one doctor will say one thing, and the other doctor will say something else. And so, so our care managers uh, kind of help uh, navigate those, you know, that feedback and help you understand what's really happening. Um, we also do that work for family members who are out of town. So very often, you mm -hmm. know, adult children move away. I mean, I don't know why. I think everyone should stay in San Diego, but <laughs> the children do move away. And sometimes, you know, the, the kids are in Chicago or whatever. Or there are two children or three children, um, and they all th have a different idea for what's best for mom or dad. And so we'll actually, we'll convene conference calls with all the children on the phone 
and say, this is what's going on, this is what we think, what, you know, how do you want to handle it? Um, and so those services are really invaluable, particularly if, uh, if adult children are out of town. And I just want to make it very clear that JFS, Jewish Family Service, is not just for the Jewish population. Right. We, we serve the entire community. We've been around almost 100 years. Um, and uh, literally, we serve, uh, serve everyone, everywhere, um, and have a lot of programs throughout, throughout the county. Um, one program it sounds, um, that, that is really critical is that you know, the, probably one of the greatest fears for seniors is falling. And so whether it's in the shower or just in your home, um, so we'll, we'll send out um, retired handymen to come out and take a look at your home and, and put a grab bar in or put railings in or, or whatever, whatever's necessary. Sometimes um, we know that older adults uh, don't replace a light bulb because they don't want to stand on a ladder. And so something as simple as they're, they're walking into a kitchen that doesn't have a light on or, or they're running extension cords because the, the plug mm -hmm. isn't working. And so those types of home repairs um, really uh, just create a safer environment so that um, individuals can stay at home. So you really do have the ability to be a full service opportunity and programs for our seniors or our aging adults. Would that be well, that's our goal. I mean, we don't do everything, and, and where we don't do it, um, where our staff are really, um, they have a pretty big uh, inventory of, of available programs and services here in San Diego. And so um, if we don't do it, we'll find somebody else who will do it. And, um, and that's the, the kind of work we do um, to try to keep people at and talk about a little the food, the food portion of so it. So well. food, you know, uh, okay, food is important, right? <laughs> so, you know, food, Part is, of that. food is always important, and so I'm, I'm glad you brought up food. So um, food is in a couple of ways. So one is um, we have um, we have congregate meal sites, or we have uh, social and wellness centers. We have four wellness centers, and um, many of our older adults go to those centers and have a full day of, of activities and yoga and. Um, discussion groups and meals are served. Um, and we also have a home delivered program called our Food Mobile. And so we deliver um, hot, nutritious, kosher meals uh, to, to homes throughout uh, the county. Um, also but done by volunteers, so volunteers are really important in doing that piece of work. Uh, we have a full service kitchen um, on our campus um, on Balboa, and so every, every single day we're, we're cooking uh, fresh meals. Um, in addition to delivering uh, the food, um, if we notice there's a dog or a cat, we'll, we'll help out with Aww. pet food or, or you know, if, if someone's struggling to get out for food, you know, and we know we need to bring cereal, then we'll bring cereal to make sure that there's food for breakfast or whatever. And Patty and I had the good fortune to make a tour of your new, I'll call it a campus. I mean, it really is right. quite beautiful. Is that something that you welcome people to come and check you so, out? So um, the campus is an important part. I mean, so for... Um, so coming to the campus, whether it's for, for, for counseling or case management services, uh, we also have a little corner market at the, on, the, on our campus, and so, um, so folks can come in and actually go shopping themselves, and there's fresh produce there, and there's meat, and, um, and you know, all the, you know, so rather than, uh, uh, if, if you're able to come out, um, that food is, is available for free for folks who need it. And given the role of chief executive officer, you always are looking five, ten years down the road. Where do you see this aging? The aging boom is here. I mean, we've already, you know, the baby boomers are already turning 70 plus. Where do you, what's your vision for five, 10 years out for Jewish Family Service San Diego? So, so right now, um, probably a third of our, of our agency is focused on older adults. And, um, and when I look into the crystal ball and look five, 10 years out, it, it wouldn't surprise me at all that half of our agency services would be dedicated to, to older adults. Um, for us, we're already having the conversations around, tech, and as everyone is, around how technology is going to impact our services. We know already, um, you know, so right now um, our volunteer transport, t transportation program um, uses um, technology, but we know that we need to, uh, to really develop that. We know that um, going forward that individuals, you know, are going to uh, use their smartphone to order their, their home delivered meals. They're going to use their smartphone to order their ride. Uh, they already do that now through Uber. Um, uh, but we know that actually most of the older adults that we serve right now um, don't have smartphones, and so uh, we often get in the middle. Uh, we'll often call Uber for our seniors because they don't have a smartphone. But we, we're looking at the, the intersection of technology and our programs because we know that, um, that part of um, living home will be to, to utilize that technology. And one thing that you know, Patty and I are really want Senior State of Go to be about is intergenerational and getting people to support volunteer, volunteerism. What, how are you reaching out into the community to try to get more people involved intergenerationally and to support JFS? You know, the, the interesting thing is, is that uh, most of our volunteers um, are probably a good 20 years younger than, than the folks that we're serving. 
And uh, many of them do it for a couple of reasons. So many of them do it because they're paying forward. They think that if I drive today, that somebody will drive for me tomorrow. Um, or their mom and dad, uh, you know, live somewhere else and they can't uh, provide services for their parents. And so they're, they're actually doing that volunteer work, you know, f um, for somebody else because they're hoping that somebody will be driving or delivering meals for, for their mom and dad. And so um, we know that probably one of the most important things we can do uh, as we age is to have friends of all ages to make sure that there are people in our lives um, that are just not the same age but that are younger so that, um, that we can make sure that, you know, that there's always somebody to take care of us. So let's recap this. If you could recap it in a couple sentences, please do, in terms of the So the, the recap would be um, Jewish Family Service um, it really provides a, a spectrum of services. Our, our, our goal is to help pe keep people home. And so, um, so when in doubt, give us a call. And if we can't do it, somebody else can do it. We'll figure out who. Um, but we have probably one of the largest menus of services where, where individuals can uh, kind of pick and choose. And um, you know, the other day, we were talking about how uh, very often somebody calls with a presenting issue, um, but very often there are four or five other issues going on. I mean, nobody just, uh, just needs a meal delivered or nobody just needs transportation. Um, and that will help you. Sometimes, you know, you don't even realize the services that are out there. And so um, a call to JFS will, uh, over the phone, will figure out what's really going on and how we can be of service. Very good advice for those uh, viewing uh, Senior Stay or Go today. Jewish Family Service is, offers a vast array and very committed to the citizens of San Diego. Michael, thank you so thank much you. for spending time with us today. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Senior Stay or Go. Thank you. With the help of Comfort Keepers, I'm keeping my mom healthy. I'm keeping dad on schedule. I'm keeping my mom happy. Comfort Keepers in-home professional caregivers can provide meal planning and preparation, health and wellness services, and personal care services through custom care plans that can change as needs change so your aging loved ones can stay happy and healthy in their own home. Comfort Keepers, keeping the comfort of home. Our next guest is